Is becoming a professional angler a dream or a nightmare? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So I have to continue to say thank you because it's been three or four months of overwhelming responses, comments, views, and all of this stuff. So I really do thank all the new subscribers, all the people that constantly comment. Really do appreciate you guys. You are part of my family. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button. Become part of the team and the family. This is a video I've thought about and wrote notes on for about 10 days. Only because I'm not sure how you how you transition this into a video and not make it be negative because I don't want this to be negative at all. But I think there's a lot of people or a lot of young anglers that can learn from what happened to Derek Hudson, who is a Major League Fishing Invitational angler. And Derek recently quit before the final stage on the Detroit River. And most fans don't know who Derek is. That's not throwing any shade at him. He would even probably admit there's a lot more he could have done if he wanted to be stay or if he wanted to stay in the Invitationals. But Derek is moving down. He is relegating himself and putting himself in the Toyo Series and the other lesser divisions. And there's nothing wrong with that. Let me just make that clear. There's nothing wrong with it. But there's a lot of anglers that are making this decision middle of the season. And that's what's worrying. And in Derek's video, and I'll put a link in the description below, he talks about how this was a financial decision for his family. And I really respect that. I am a family first person. I know it might not seem like it sometimes and people will say other things. I am a strictly family, per family first person to the bone. But these days for professional anglers, there needs to be something that happens. I believe they need to start off by changing the payouts. Now, I think they need to up the payouts and decrease the entry fees. But I also think there might, there should be some sort of way to get anglers, more people paid. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Because there's too many people that are out there, too many anglers out there right now that are not making enough to cover expenses. If you really dive into it, there are a lot of anglers that don't make the amount of money it costs to go fishing. And when you pay $5,500 to fish on the Invitationals next year in 2025, that is a lot of money and that doesn't cover your boat and your truck and your expenses and your gas and your tackle and all the little things. And even though Jacob Fouts put out a video saying his average his average tournament is about sixty-five to seven thousand dollars, there are a lot of things I think Derek could have done better, and he would admit it too. However, let's dive in and talk a little bit about Derek before we get into the other stuff. Now, this year, unfortunately, Derek's cashed only one time, and that was for twenty thousand dollars. He finished third. His career stats are one win, twenty-three top tens in 110 events fished. He's made $145,870 in on the on the major league fishing events. Again, the invitationals for 2025 are $5,000, $5,000 on each tournament. And only 33% of the anglers get paid back and they get the least amount of paid you can get paid back is $8,000, which probably covers most of your costs. And in the two years that Derek has been fishing the invitationals, he has made $41,000, which is not enough money. A majority of anglers do not rely on tournament winnings to pay for their upcoming season. However, it is an added bonus, but sponsorships are getting tougher and tougher to get. And again, there's going to be some harsh realities that I'm going to say, and I mean no disrespect to Derek or anyone else, but Derek is not a big enough name. His social media presence is not there. These days, this sport or hobby is humbling to a lot of anglers. Today, I had lunch with a new friend named Brett, and he had lots of questions. And one of the things he, he asked was, why is this happening more and more? And I explained to him the problem that Derek and a lot of other rookies and new anglers aren't doing is they're not putting enough attention into what's going on right now. By that, I mean YouTube and Instagram. Now, I'm not a big TikTok person, but if you think you can do TikTok, go right ahead. But the FaceTime and all those social media platforms are how you get your name out, how you build your brand. And building your brand is as important, if not, 
than catching fish. Because there's a lot of anglers that don't do very well catching fish, but because they promote themselves well and do all of the platforms and promote their sponsors, that their sponsors don't leave them. And when you're fighting for my marketing budget, but you're not catching fish or you're not proving that you're able to sell my product, why would I give you my marketing budget? And this is a harsh reality for all new anglers. If you finish in dead last, I don't want to know what lure you're using. No offense. Obviously, the lure didn't work. The reason why Jacob Wheeler and Dustin Connell and all those guys do well with sponsorship is because they are catching fish with that lure. Anglers do not go out and buy a lure of the guy who finished 30th. We buy the lure of the guy that finished first or second because then we know they catch fish. But if you're not promoting that or promoting yourself or building the brand that comes behind being a professional angler, then you're just cutting yourself short. Now, Derek is a wonderful guy and I respect that he's doing it for his family. I really respect that he's doing his family. And I have a lot of, and I believe he has a lot of integrity too by owning up to this mistake. But you new guys that wanna go fishing, really think about what you're doing before you do it. If you're on the league or in the invitationals or on the Toyota series or in the opens, film everything that you're doing. Start your channel now. Don't wait two years from now. That's the mistake I made. But don't make the same mistakes. Because right now, it's hard to get an audience. There's everybody and their mother has a fishing channel that's explaining how to do certain things or giving their opinion or just being an asshole. But you need to get in as early as possible. You young kids, start working that Instagram. Start working that YouTube. Start doing it now. Learn how to edit even if the most basic editing can get you views. The worst camera in the world is used on some of, the, some of these YouTube channels. They're not good cameras, but they work because the, the, the people is putting out a good product, and that's what people want. So new anglers, you must get going on your social media. And for Derek, I'm really sorry. I do think it's the right decision, though. I think... The Toyota series is better than the Invitationals, just on the entry fee alone. And I think a lot of other angles would admit that too. The Invitationals is gonna get crazy expensive, but the Invitationals allows you to get to the Bass Pro Tour. And when Bass Pro Tour goes to 50, there's gonna be a lot of elite anglers in that 50. And like it or dislike it, it doesn't really matter here. This is just being honest and truthful about what's going on right now for a lot of young anglers. And as crazy as this is gonna sound, having the social media and all the things behind that and catching fish are about as important as each other. And that I never thought I'd ever say. Because years ago, I always thought you catch fish, you win, you do well, you sell product. That's not how this industry is right now. It's a crazy world out there. So Derek, while I respect you and I'm happy that you're doing the right thing for you and your family, I commend you for it. I'm sorry that you're having to move back down, but I think it's a better situation for you. But for all you other people, other young anglers that want to be pros, start doing your social media stuff now. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't hit it, click it. You'll like it. It's good work. So take your kid fishing get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Comment below and tell me what you think. Cheers.